Hi Kurt, welcome. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How about you? I'm great. Um, <laughs> how have your rehearsals been so far? Oh yes, we just had one rehearsal so far. Uh, we got here on Monday evening and uh, we did our rehearsal in, on Tuesday in the afternoon. Um, you know, I was very happy actually. The sound is amazing. The, the backdrop looked fantastic. The stage is very easy to play with. Uh, we had like a couple of camera shots which we didn't like. But you know, really and truly, other than that, there wasn't much. Uh, I mean, the rest was things that it, from our side, from the band side, which we had to arrange, like the angle of how we were looking at the cameras and stuff like that. But those are little things which which you need sort of to take care of now in this week that we have until the Eurovision. Yeah. Okay. Well, Malta is very Eurovision loving country. Um, you came close to victory a few times. Um, what are you going to do to uh, get viewers to vote for Malta? <laughs> um, We've actually, I mean, obviously, first and foremost, we want to go on that stage and just have a good time, you know? I really believe that you can't give what you don't have. So if you're not having fun, you can't make people enjoy themselves. Fair enough? Mm -hmm. um, we are actually doing, um, I mean, I've got a lot, I've got a fan base, different small fan bases in different countries, and I've actually given them a task to uh, you know print all these posters I've sent them lots of posters and stuff like that so that they can put them in the local pubs and you know like tell their friends and family you know to do to do that but also um, we've been actually to a couple of countries uh, we've been to Georgia we came to Azerbaijan Bulgaria Lithuania we went to Amsterdam and Milan and uh, in each and every country we've been to we've been very blessed to have uh, positive feedback mm -hmm. so so that's great. Um, really and truly, it's just mainly it's based on on the performance, though. I mean, yeah. you could have the best strategy in the world, you can have, but if you don't give a good performance, you know, that that's my that's my opinion at least. Yeah. So, but you have quite a, quite some experience because you once sang in the children's choir and you performed before, before the Pope, and you performed with Sukuro. Um, are you going to use that experience at this performance? I believe that every experience counts. You know, like um, even, for example, being rejected as a kid mm -hmm. or being bullied. I, as a kid, I used to be bullied a lot because I wanted to sing mm -hmm. and uh, I wasn't very good at sports and stuff like that. Um, so, and that drove me to work harder. Um, but yes, obviously, singing in front of the Pope, um, being Zucchero's supporting act. Uh, getting third last year, you know, um, everything helps. And I also believe a lot in uh, learning from people who are already in the business and who are very successful. Like, I like I spend hours watching uh, the big stars doing their performances. I mean, hours really. I uh, watch Michael Bublé, Robbie Williams, Bruno Mars doing their shows and the, how they steal the audience. You know, and the energy they transmit on the stage, and I'm like, yeah, that's that's what I want to do. You know, that's that's how you have to act on stage. You know, keep your keep your obviously uh, your stature, and and obviously you have to keep your poise, but you have to enjoy it. You know, otherwise you can't make people enjoy it. Yeah, it's true. And um, I saw you dancing at Euroclub. What do you think of Euroclub? Hey, it's I actually, it's like it's it's the biggest club I've ever been in, mind you. But I haven't been around the block too much, so so that's not the best comparison site. <laughs> um, I love the screens, the big screens, you know, on the sides. Yeah. They're really amazing. I like the, the decor where it's like those dark cushions, but then with the logo on it, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's really amazing. Um, the, the music, obviously, Eurovision songs can't go wrong with that. You know, it's like all Allegria kind of music. Yeah. So, yeah, I had a good time. I had a good time. And what's your impression of Baku? We actually came here in February, um, uh, and my first impression of Baku was actually, hey, this is actually, you know, a nice city. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I like the hospitality first and foremost. It's amazing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And also, though, I'm quite a, a, kit, a food critic. Yeah. And uh, when I when I came here and I tried the food, I was actually blown away by it. You know, it's like I'm not I'm not particularly crazy about everything, but. You know the general dishes are actually really nice and actually really most of them are actually really healthy as mm -hmm. well even though they're very oily um the, the the ingredients that they 
using the food and stuff. Anyway, that's getting off point. <laughs> uh, but when we came back now, uh, like three days ago, and like there were all the buildings were done because when we came, like there was half of them, which were still unfinished. You know, but the but the project and the what has been done so quickly. Mm -hmm. I was actually really amazed. Crystal Hall was barely had barely even begun, you know, being built, and now it's ready, fully functional. The sound is great, you know. So really, well done okay. to the organizers. Well, then we have a final question for you. Um, can we expect a CD release after Eurovision? Yes, actually. Um, uh, as soon as Eurovision is over, I'm going to Sweden to work on the album with uh, Yuan, who is the composer, and Mikael. Uh, Mikael is my producer, and uh, Yuan is is, uh, is my composer. We are at the moment untied, so we're not with a record label. We are functioning like on our own. We would like to work with a good record label, um, uh, but yes, we're, we're working on the album, and that should be launched around October time. And will it be released in Europe all over or just Malta and, and Southern Europe? No, we are actually working on, first and foremost, the countries which invited us for the Euro Tour. But also we are going to launch it in certain parts of Australia and Malaysia. Apart from, obviously, these, from these seven, eight countries where we've been to.